my typical role is just running a little discussion about, um, we usually have a dinner and then we have a little discussion afterwards. And people do different kinds of projects. I just usually run a discussion and it really is just getting them to think about uh, what are relationships like? Why are they difficult? What would make them sort of easier? What transitions do you need to make as you're moving into, as you get interested in someone, if you want to make it sort of more serious, um, how do you negotiate that? What sort of relationship? It just sort of more, really what I try to do is elicit their opinions and then um, help them think about it in a broader context of what's going on in society. So it's more helping them to sharpen their own thinking about um, about relationships. Uh, two of my main courses are Catholic Marriage and God, Work, and Money, and I, both of those courses are just designed to get students to think about what kind of work do you want to do and what kind of relationships do you want to have. And so this relationship piece, I think, is just essential. It's friendships, marriage, parenting. These are some of the most important things we do in our life, and just to spend some time thinking about that is just worthwhile. And this is the, sort of the time to do it when you're surrounded by people thinking. And, and you're surrounded by academics who think and students who think and you have time to think. So. When I was in college, I had really good relationships. Uh, and when I got here, I saw people struggling with that. Uh, and I don't know what sort of changed. There was possibly, it was sort of easier, I felt like five, 10, 15 years ago. And then it was sort of very, now it seemed to be sort of very difficult and high anxiety. So just finding ways to make things easier. <laughs> Not to hook up, but just to like meet people, get to know people and, and make friends and see what possibilities are sort of out there. So just that, I think that was sort of the main motivation, just to, I gotta be easier to have good relationships. For a long time, the big concern in, in colleges was sort of hookup culture. But as you look at the data that's coming out now, what you find is like decrease in like hooking up and, and relationships and premarital sex and like all, and so you find actually students not going out and, and meeting other people. And so the challenge now, or before it was too carefree, now it seems to be so cautious and concerned that no one goes out. <laughs> and so like you've gotta, you still need to talk I think about relationships, but the concerns and issues have gotta shift over time. So the thing that keeps coming back to me, the more research I do and the healthy relationship stuff is that the um, frustration students feel with the finding relationships, negotiating relationships, getting to know people, they just seem to be pretty, um, they get frustrated with it. They feel like they're stuck in categories that don't work or means of, of pursuing it that, that aren't really helpful. Uh, and that frustration, I, I would like to have a role in sort of helping, but I, for me too, it always comes back, like if you can make students aware that it's not just you who's frustrated, you are all frustrated. And if you're all frustrated, you could change this pretty quickly. And so that, that's the hope when I think all of those conversations. I'm much less interested in telling students what to think about this or that and, and getting them interested in thinking about what they believe and they think because I feel like their instincts will lead them to happier and healthier sort of relationships. And if you can do that with lots of people, then all of them together will make things a lot better.